Good morning and good afternoon to all. The future of making things is changing. So as Autodesk product offering is also trying to be in line to this change. We have built a great developer network for our inventor customers and hope to build a similar ecosystem to our Fusion customers as well with all your great tools. I'm Anand Pujari, Program Manager, working with Autodesk for the last 12 plus years. I closely work with ADN partners and store publishers. Some of you in the call might already know me very well. Joining me in this presentation is Hazel Wood, who will share information and ideas with you in a few minutes. Most of you might already know about the Autodesk App Store. However, I would like to take a couple minutes to give the history about Autodesk Store for those who are new to the store. We all know how important the apps are playing their role in the mobile industry. We are seeing apps for everything, say it for reservation, taxi booking, even as health vans, etc. So Autodesk thought about the same and we questioned ourselves that why can't we build such an ecosystem to our customers? And here we are with four years now growing bigger and bigger. We started Autodesk App Store with AutoCAD and later on started adding more and more products to the portfolio. Today we have around 18 stores and it's growing. We have a dedicated team in India managing and executing the Exchange Store. With their product ex expertise and process knowledge consolidates your apps in terms of reviewing, issues finding, help building and installer building. Yes, we build an installer for you so as to get the unique install experience to our users. We run through all the tests and content reviews before publishing it onto the store. Let me take one more minute to mention about the number of apps that has been processed year on year. This also shows how the store has significantly evolved year on year. Note that the number of apps in the exchange store has doubled for the last three years. In 2011, we had around 225 plus apps. In 2012, we touched double, that is 450 plus apps. In 2013, it was 900, and 900 plus apps. And now we have around 1950 plus apps. So what I really would like to say is that this is an opportunity to bring in your wealth of tools to the Fusion Store and drive users, downloads and sales growth. With this, now I would like to ask Hazel to share her part of the story on the store. Hello, my name is Hazel Wood and my role or one of my roles with the App Store is to help um, apps publishers really leverage the business opportunities of the Autodesk App Store. So I just want to spend a few minutes uh, sharing with you some of the uh, highlights of um, some of the um, business results that uh, the App Store has experienced and that you can experience. The bottom line is that customers love the App Store. We've experienced just great visitor growth for quarter after quarter. Yes, as you can see in the graph, there was a little dip earlier in the year, um, but in general the acceleration is just continues. Um, in fact, in just the last 30 days, over 208,000 people have visited the store. And this bus is on track to exceed at least 600,000 visitors this quarter. And that means actually well over 2 million for, for the year. And what this means for you as, as a publisher is lots of potential new customers. And also, just so that you know, there's, there's about uh, one in four, sometimes one in three visitors um, downloading an app. 
Now on this slide, you can see um, how it breaks down between free trial and paid apps. And so you can see, see that mix um, pretty well there. And the subscription apps are mostly Autodesk subscription. So you can you have the choice of publishing free trial or paid apps. And I, I know that it may seem easy and tempting to just put in free apps in the Fusion Store, but I ask that you really consider the long-term benefits of publishing paid apps. And at, Admittedly, the volume of paid apps is, is currently modest, but, but it's growing quarter by quarter. And we're running close to 1,500 sales per quarter, and we want to at least double or triple that number. Um, <laughs> we, we do have to admit, actually, that the modest volume is partly our fault, because what, what happened is that at first, we encouraged free apps as a way to drive traffic to the store and a marketing vehicle for publishers. But too many free apps can lead to a shareware type of mentality. And this is where we could use some help from some of you. Because by having some paid apps in the Fusion Store, it's going to benefit everyone as the store will then become known as the place to find great commercial apps and not just a shareware type marketplace. And it's also just a great idea to consider the subscription model for, for your apps since Fusion customers are already on subscription. Now, if you do decide to publish paid apps, um, you can see on this slide that we've got um, some easy global payment methods. And the, the mechanism that we've set up for you really makes it easy for customers to buy. Um, another great advantage for you at the moment is the fact that Autodesk isn't even taking any commission on the sale of paid apps. Basically, we just act as a platform for you and for our joint customers to do business. For, for paid apps, you, you have the choice of using the PayPal platform, or our recommended payment gateway is BlueSnap. And this is because BlueSnap not only enables a localized shopping experience, but also gives publishers the ability to, to use local payment types. So that makes it uh, quick and easy for customers making the decision to make the purchase. Um, here I just want to share with you some of the most commonly asked questions that I get um, sort of on the business side. Uh, and the one that stands out is, how can my app be featured on the storefront? And I, I get asked this all the time. and. It really addresses all the points that you should consider as you prepare your app for submission to the store. The bottom line is that the App Store is the best way to get exposure to Autodesk customers. So the very best thing that you can do is to first of all think like a customer and think about how a customer perceives your app. Just ask yourself, if I saw this app would I be interested? Would I download it? What you can do to um, achieve that objective is, first of all, produce a great app. Customers are coming to the store looking for great apps, whether they be free or paid or trial. And customers are going to know and judge you through your app. So it's absolutely critical to project a, a professional image. What you can do to protect a, a professional image beyond having a great app is have a great professional looking icon. It's the first thing that customers are going to see and the first thing that's going to create an impression for the, for the customers. Then you also want to have a great detailed description that explains the benefits to customers. And 
also now you can put in a lot of information about yourself in the publisher profile page. Mm -hmm. This is your opportunity to really market yourself to, to Autodesk customers. So these are the factors that we also consider when, when selecting apps for the storefront. And here's a little hint or tip for you too, that it's easier to be selected to be on the storefront more regularly when you have a paid app because there are fewer paid apps to choose from. So you get into the rotation more often. Um, you might also be asking yourselves, well, you know, what is the success ratio? What does success look like on the App Store? Um, well, it depends. Um, here are a, a few examples to, to share with you. There's, um, over time, there's been a number of publishers worldwide, but I'll just use Europe as an example. We've had publishers um, in Germany, Italy, and the Netherlands tell us specifically that um, they found that because of the App Store, they're now selling worldwide, whereas before they were only known in their local areas. Um, there was a, a German Revit publisher that uh, in fact made their first sale of, of a paid app to a customer in Brazil and told us that they would never have been able to do that on their own. Then there was a publisher in Italy who had a $5 app and was discovered by a major company in England who then purchased 120 copies and also a contract agreement. And another story is that there was a Revit publisher in the USA that was discovered by a major architectural firm that had a few copies of the app but needed some support. And it, it turned out that the company was so impressed um, with the publisher that they ended up contracting for a $75,000 customization job. Um, another one is a small company in New Zealand that was discovered by a global AEC firm who contracted for hundreds of copies and, and then talked about the app in a class they gave at Autodesk University. So I hope you're getting the idea that um, success has all flavors and it can come to all size of companies from both larger publishers down to one person operations. And um, another opportunity for you actually is, is the fact that we've got um, Autodesk University coming up in Las Vegas in November and Autodesk will have a lot of focus on Fusion 360 and in fact there are uh, some classes on Fusion 360 and some, there are two that um, Adam Nagy is doing on Fusion apps. So there's a lot of opportunity there for you. Um, additionally too, a lot of Autodesk salespeople and sales engineers and the Autodesk reseller channels, they're always looking for great apps to help their customers. So this is the way that you're going to be found. And um, with that, I'm going to turn it back over to Anand. Thank you, Hazel. So the, the one last final slide I would like to talk about is that here is the resource locations where you people can certainly visit. I mean, go to the apps.rs.com page to, to post in your uh, applications. If you have any questions, feel free to write to us at fusionhackathon at orders.com. You have tons of information under the developer apps, I mean, um, resources where you can, you can I mean, um, you can go and review um, information here and also as uh, Hazel mentioned in her in, in slides that a good app definitely represent with respect to the good icons, uh, good description and uh, a proper usage instructions so that the user are more comfortable in using them. So basically um, all these informations are available at the resource centers, these things we have provided the link and uh, certainly these webinars are being uh, uh, recorded. Um, these informations will be available for you um, whenever you want. Feel free to contact us. I mean, with that, I think, uh, um, thank you, Hazel. I mean, we, 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 we thought of giving a, a brief uh, intro about uh, the overall store and its experience, how do we manage, how your apps are being processed, um, 
uh, how the business model, I mean, how people are, how publishers are making um, um, revenues out of it. Uh, so the, they're growing their business opportunities, a big marketing opportunity. So with all this, I think uh, uh, we have given, we have tried to give you a fair amount or, or a good intro about what exactly the store is, how it looks like, and uh, uh, what you can achieve from this. So thank you, Hazel, and uh, thanks all. Uh,